Hello everybody, this is Andrew, also known as Nature Man. Today we are talking about the Green Tower Boxwood, exclusively grown from Monrovia. This is by far one of my favorite boxwoods, especially if you want to make a small upright focal point tree. This would be excellent anchoring two sides of a front patio, anchoring two sides of a garage, or just ones to anchor one corner of a house. A very small tree, it only matures to eight to nine feet tall, by one to two feet wide at ultimate maturity. So very, very narrow, and it's not like the, the cone-shaped green mountain boxwoods. Those only get five to six tall, three to four wide, and you have to keep those trimmed constantly into a, into a pyramid or Christmas tree. This does not require trimming. This is 100% how it grows. It's just a, literally just a column, straight up and down. So it makes, it's a great, you can put it right up against a house. I would bring it out maybe, you know, 18, 24 inches at least from the brick or the side of the house just to give it some breathing room and light. But it, it's something that's so narrow it doesn't need to be spaced that much from the house. Uh, it can do full sun all the way to filtered shade. Uh, it probably will not do well in a full dense shade, but it'll tolerate um, lower light levels fairly well. Um, and this is a one we planted here in the landscape bed. Uh, so we'll read the tag here. Uh, green tower boxwood. It's an English boxwood, Buxus sempervirens. <clears throat> Again, up to nine feet tall, one to two feet across at ultimate maturity. It is a hardy in USDA zone five, so hardy down to minus 20 Fahrenheit. So it's good for tight spaces. You can do several of them for a small screen, very columnar, which is extremely unusual for boxwoods. Boxwoods are either rounded or shaped into a cone. This is literally a columnar boxwood. Very fine selection from Monrovia. And this one right here is about four feet tall. I just measured it at four feet tall. Not even, maybe about a little over a foot across. So four feet tall, foot wide. I planted this one in the spring and it has just taken off like a rocket. Again, you could do two of them to anchor a front, front entrance way, front garage, back patio, put it in, in the center point of a, of a garden bed. There's a lot of landscape potential with this, but if you need something narrow, upright, that's evergreen, that doesn't get big and doesn't need trimming, this might be the plan for you. Again, hardy in USDA zones five through nine, full sun to filtered shade. This is Nature Man signing off. Bye.